Welcome, and thank you for joining for another Whiskey Review. Today, we take a look at the Templeton 10-Year-Old Rye. This one comes in at 52% ABV. Dustin, what can you tell us about it? Yeah, so we've got a 95.5 MGP rye here, Mike, which is the basis for a lot of $200 rye whiskeys. So here, we're coming in with one that's coming in at 80 bucks. So, probably the best value in rye whiskey on the market right now. Uh, it's probably not cast strength, but at 52, we're pretty close, I would think. It's a good ABV. Yeah. Nice little metal uh, little piece there on the front of it, too, which I like. Solid bottle. Yeah. I mean, they did enough. <clears throat> MGP. One of the best things to come out of Indiana. Yeah, that and Larry Bird. That and Larry Bird. Ooh. Smells great. Yeah. A lot of spice. A lot of spice and mint. Yeah, very minty. A lot of spice. A little bit of red fruit. Mm, yeah. Brown Raspberry. sugar. Yeah. Fall leaves. Mm, toffee. Oh, apple. That's what it is. It's apple cider spice. With toffee on it. There's toffee there. You're right. A little bit of caramel. Mm. Nice smoked uh, charred oak mm. coming through. Makes me excited for fall. It's only June. <laughs> this smells absolutely like fall. Like This is what I want in my glass if I'm at a pumpkin patch. Mm, yep. If Oktoberfest was a bourbon, or excuse me, was a rye. <laughs> <laughs> the official rye of Oktoberfest. Yes. Mm, maybe put a shot of this in with uh, some kind of Oktoberfest beer uh, up in Munich. Who knows? That might be fun. It's a, it, has a, it has a very unique like raspberry slash rhubarb pie. I can see both, yeah. Smell to it. I'm sticking with the, with the apple cider, man. That's where I'm going to just keep going. And apple cider with that... Mm. Caramel and toffee toasted notes. I like that you really can get a little bit of barrel note on here. I love that. A lot of pie notes here, actually. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, it's almost like a mincemeat pie. I don't mean like a modern mincemeat pie. Yeah, I mean, this would go very well at Thanksgiving. Like, you pour this with your dessert at Thanksgiving after you've had. You got some apple pie, you got a little of this, you got some pumpkin pie. Got a little, like, you know, I, mean, I don't know about your family. My family always brought way more desserts than made any possible sense. Yeah, my family was always dangerous to drink this much. Like, literally, there'd be like 10% of the pie would get consumed. <laughs> and just like, you all brought in a pie for every person almost. You guys are crazy. <clears throat> Heavy on the pie is always. Mm. Take some with you. That's the line. That's generally what happened, yes. I said, I think I've all of my Tupperware and all of my uh, long term storage and carriage. Type of things for food. I don't think I bought any of them. <laughs> <laughs> they are exclusively one of my five sisters. Or take it home. You're like, me. I don't have anything to take it home with. I'll just do that. Are uh, you know why I think that? Nothing matches. <laughs> <laughs> I have one of everything. <laughs> yeah, rhubarb pie. It's really nice. I mean, nothing really like, there's no wow factors in here. There's nothing jumping out. It's just very pleasant, well put together, perfectly balanced. Everything is balanced in this, which is really nice oh sachet notes almost to a uh, slight tobacco leaf which I often get with mint I can see that yeah and I agree when you get mint a tobacco leaf generally is around just around the corner especially in rye driven uh, tobacco notes and mint notes mm -hmm. yeah just rich the fact that I'm even getting like hints of smoke here is really nice a lot of spice mm-hmm Spice, mint, caramel, chocolate. Cooling. That mint's taking over now. Mm-hmm. Mentos. That's a very good call out. It's Mentos, but like there's Mentos, but there's cinnamon in here. There's yeah, some sort of white cinnamon. Some of that apple, definitely in here. Red skin apple. Mm. Really, really nice. Uh, now you said it's really spicy, but it's not. Biting spicy as some of the higher proof, really intense MGP rise can get. This is it is swells. Don't, I'm not saying it's lacking, but some of like the really strong, like your old Carters, your uh, Kentucky Owls. Um, we did that review of not an MGP, but the Willet uh, Seven Year. Yes, that was spicier. It was. This is much easier it's, drinking. It's good spice. This is a little more sweet forward. It's still spicy. Don't get me wrong, but it's again, it's a. 95.5 rye. Better be spicy. Very rich. Mm -hmm. Very rich. 
Water did not hurt this at all. No. Still absolutely beautiful. It has like a slight, dare I say, umami, earthy, vegetal note. Vegetal, I can get behind. Almost like a tomato. Oh, yeah, almost like tofu soup. Yeah, yeah. That's maybe where I'm thinking umami, kind of, yeah. There's something there, and it's, it's interesting. It's uh, not normal. Um, again, but I don't drink that much. You know, I like MGP 95.5 rye. I don't buy a lot of it. I probably have six bottles. It's a lot of rye. You gotta like rye. Yeah, I'm it's biting rye. And most of my bottles are like two hundred dollar bottles, and this is eighty. And I tell you what, this holds up really well with all of those. It does. And I'm saying it's less than half the price. And this is available. The other ones aren't easy to get. Yeah, this is every in today's market, 2023, June of 23. 80 bucks for this? Like, come on. Easy choice to make. ABV, mm-hmm. Wisconsin's got everything. If you like rice, it's got everything you need. Does anyone yeah. know about this? He has to. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. If not, uh, we can give him the rest of that. <clears throat> I'm sure he's on top of it. I'll put it this way I'm probably going to buy a backup bottle. I've never bought a backup rye. Well, I bought a four gate backup rye, but. You know, as you know me at four gate. <laughs> you know, the rye note's kind of coming apart, but the fabric of it's still there. Mm-hmm. And it's just draped around the red fruits. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting more like bourbon-esque notes as we've added water, a little bit more vanilla. You're not getting any red fruits on this? Oh, I still get red fruits, for sure. I mean, like raspberry. Oh, I'm, I'm checking nose or palate. I just went into nose, the palate. Nose, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nose. Okay, oh yeah, nose is still very red fruit forward. Red fruit, a little bit of spiciness, uh, maybe some cinnamon, but I'm almost thinking... It's a different kind of spice than yeah. cinnamon. It's but it's a really beautiful. That menthol note is going, or that mint note is going menthol almost. I'm still liking your mentos note here, man. That it like, is, yeah. almost because I think a mentos is vanilla mint, and that is yeah. exactly what this is. It's getting smokier though. Yeah, the the char from the barrel is really coming mm-hmm. through. Almost like walking into a sketchy liquor store. Some's yeah. got some's got bars on the windows. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to a store like this, Mike, but you know what this actually I think would be the perfect I thing have. is? If you went into, and oh, I've been in the bar places before, don't get me wrong, um, no, no, if you went into a store that sold antiques and hand-rolled cigars, and you had the tobacco and the old furniture, that is absolutely here. It's good and rich, that's for sure. And it's fall. Everything about this is fall. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm telling you what, I haven't had this in a while. I've, been, I've probably been at your place for a month now, but... Uh, been a while. Yeah, uh, and as you can see, I mean, I went through a bottle. I picked this up right when it came out. Mm. And I thought, like, oh, it sold out. I was like, okay, this is going to become another allocated bottle. And then storage has got more in. I haven't seen it out in a long time. It's a good one, Dustin. It's a good beautiful, one. Beautiful. All right, let's talk whiskey score mm-hmm. here. Let me go first. I like to go first on, on these rye and bourbons only because it's not my forte, but here's what I'm going to give it. Mm-hmm. Great mouthfeel. Great ABV. It's got a lot of flavors that I like. Good finish. The mint, the mint note went very smoky menthol, which I really gravitate towards to. I'm 87 out of 100. So I've been going back and forth between 88 and 89. I could have been 88. And the thing is, I think it's an 88. But I, I'm trying to convince myself why it's not an 89. Honestly, I think what's keeping it from an 89 is that it probably isn't barrel proof, and it probably lost a tenth of a point there, and it, on like the mouthfeel, lost a tenth of a point in cool factor, which you know is a thing, and it just missed it. That's the only thing I can really knock it on is that I wish this was pro- officially barrel proof. I am pretty sure it says hand selected single barrel at 104 proof. It doesn't mean it's barrel proof. It just said they hand selected a single barrel. It's definitely it's sold it's definitely, at 104. It's definitely one barrel. Okay, yeah, I didn't realize it was a single barrel. That's actually pretty crazy. And maybe some of these get better than this one, which is awesome because this is delicious. Look, um, man, I just gave them to Spring Make Local Bar like an 88. Give yeah. this an 87 to sell as well. Yeah, I, I actually think I'll, I think this is actually as good or better than the local barley. That's just I, it's, it's, well fun done. To, it's fun to drink. I'll give you that. Yeah, and again, guys, 80. Just around 80 bucks, under $100 for high proof, single barrel, 10 year old MGP. Like, what are you doing? Go buy, go buy one. Those are our thoughts on the whiskey. If you guys had a chance to try this one, we'd like to know what you guys think. Until then, Dustin, what do we wish the folks? Happy drinking. We'll see you there.